Hello, this is a short tutorial, um, radial blur. Okay, so I've got an image, uh, it's a picture of a light bulb, really close up, looking straight underneath it. Um, easy shot using a phone, uh, particularly difficult, but abstract. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna duplicate the layer, but I've deliberately decided to use uh, photopia.com uh, just to sort of demonstrate this, because uh, I know some of you don't have access to Photoshop. This is a free version that works within the web browser, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to go filter. Oh, no, I need to duplicate my layer first. If you're like Mac, Command and J, PC, Control and J. If you're on this, you can just do, uh, it says Control and J, it's not working on my computer. You can just do um, duplicate layer. So layer, duplicate layer. So I've got two versions of it over here next to all the adverts. Um, and then once I've got that, I'm going to add the effect in. There's a reason why I've duplicated the layer, but it'll make sense in a second. So it's filter, blur. Um, radio blur. Ta -da! Okay, so it, you've got two options on this. You've got spin or zoom. So it's currently on spin, so it just adds that sort of like spinning motion to it. So if we're after sort of a cool background or album cover or something like that, you can just sort of use this. If I turn it up, I'll zoom in a bit. Hello, yes. So you get that quite. It's quite cool. It's quite good. Um, but the reason for duplicating the layer is you can bring some of it back with the original picture behind. Just to click on zoom to demonstrate that. I like warp speed on uh, Star Trek. I kind of love Star Trek. Uh, right, so I've turned it all quite high. So that's the sort of zoomy effect. Um, so the cool thing, generally speaking, on its own, I don't really use that very much. The filters are generally speaking in Photoshop. Avoid. But now we've got this, and I'm going to show you how to do this on layer masks as well in a minute but just for now i'm going to use the eraser tool uh, so e on the keyboard should give me the eraser tool let's give me the eraser tool. that's quite good and the brackets to the right of the little p do they still make my brush but what do they do so when next to p makes it bigger the next time smaller um so the opacity of the brush i'm just going to turn that down a bit so it's not it's not just sort of instantaneous okay i'm going to make the brush soft edged as well Always use a soft edge brush, very rare on Photoshop, use a hard edge brush. And then I'm going to just go for the middle bit. So I can bring the middle bit back, but I've still got that sort of zoomy effect on the outside, which looks pretty cool. Um, so it just has that sort of glowy, magical effect to it. It's worth a go, sort of album covers and stuff like that, it's quite cool. Um, give it a whirl. I'm going to do another one in a second with layer math. Enjoy.